Outside of Fenway Park, Kevin Brown, John Angelos, opening day, some trombonists near us as well. Um, happy opening day to you. How many opening days is this for you now with the O's? Uh, well, going back to when I was a kid in Baltimore Memorial Stadium, it's probably about 49, so pretty good. What does it feel like to be here, to be at this ballpark, uh, and to think about your vision, your future for Camden Yards and what that ballpark's going to look like, and more specifically for you, what the area outside of Camden Yards is going to look like going forward? Well, you know, I, I think the vision that Governor Moore and I were exploring when we were in Atlanta a few weeks ago was what's the art of the possible for the next 30 years of Camden Yards? We've drawn 75 million visitors to downtown Baltimore. How do we do that again and maybe draw 100, 100 125 million visitors? What you see here on uh, uh, Big Poppy Way, what you what we saw together, uh, uh, the governor and I, in uh, at the Battery in Atlanta, ballpark villages around the country that have been springing up. That 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 seems to be what a lot of baseball fans want, and to the extent that Orioles fans want that, there they are. <laughs> there they are. We'll walk away from the music a little bit, even though they're giving us a nice backdrop. This will be your first order of business, right? Having a brass band outside the stadium. Yeah, de definitely. Yeah, no more, no more country music or uh, or uh, a Bruce Springsteen. We're going brass band all the way. Um, you and, and Governor Moore, you mentioned the battery in Atlanta. Specific to that, what do you like about that area? What are some of the things you can bring to Baltimore? You hope everybody likes just about everything about it. There's four or five hundred residential units, so people are living and working there. There are 25 or 30 restaurants, bars, there's a hotel, a couple of office buildings, and it's all centered around the Braves ballpark, which in and of itself is a great attraction, but it just makes the experience 24-7, 365, and I think that just seems to be what people are clamoring for, and I think what the mayor, the governor, the, the leadership are thinking is, if that brings millions more people to dip back downtown to downtown Baltimore, that's a, that's a winner. You've talked about the, the public-private partnership a lot, you, the governor, the mayor, the city. Obviously, this is a priority for you, it's a priority for them, it seems like, as well. Um, your end of the bargain, their end of the bargain, there are a lot of people that have an investment in this. How do you go about making sure everybody's on the same page with that vision? I, I think you just recognize the legacy that we've all inherited here. People, long before we were involved, uh, the elected leaders of today created this opportunity at Camden Yards. They had a grand vision. They really, uh, to use a baseball euphemism, knocked the cover off the ball. And um, we, we just have to kind of bring up the rear and do at least as well as they did. So I, I think when you think about partnership, that's all you're doing is making it uh, as good or better for the next generation. On the field, you've hired a lot of terrific baseball people. What happens between the lines happens between the lines. But from your perspective, outside the lines, fan entertainment, concerts, that sort of thing. What can an Orioles fan look forward to in 2023? Well, you know, you always know you're going to have uh, 81 games at home and you'll hopefully have a handful of concerts. But let's have a goal of getting to 90, 100 live event days a year before we build whatever uh, everyone thinks makes sense around the camp, the campus. As the campus grows, that 100 becomes 150, 200, and you know, 365 would be really the goal. So I think it's it's in the aggregate, a little, every little bit helps, but baseball is the foundation of it. Baseball is why it all exists. You excited about the season? Yeah, really. It's been a, you know, it's been a, a, a tough three years in a lot of respects. But it seems like all good things are ahead of us. It was a really nice spring. Uh, when I went to walked out on the field on February second, I saw a bunch of our major league players there weeks ahead of time, and I, I think that's really a testament to Brandon and Sig and Mike and what they've created over the last several years, and it's creating a vibe that people want to be part of, and. Uh, you know, best of luck to the whole team and, and the city because Baltimore really is back and um, we're all headed in the good direction together. It's going to be a special year. We're going to head into the direction that's not in the wind. Uh, great to see you, John. Happy opening day. Happy opening day, Kevin.